On behalf of Jodhinewa's Public School, myself and Matthews cordially welcome you all to this blended learning lesson plan session. Let's move on to the English world. Our group members are Sister Navya, Shiju Anthony Sir, Teacher Sheetal, Teacher Ashapur, Teacher Ann Matthews. And we are from group 4. Our subject is English and we took the topic Bukka learns a lesson and it's from unit 5. The size of the class is of 32 students and the total learning time is 1 hour. Moving on to our learning objectives, our first objective was express learner's opinion and participate in group discussion. Analyze the plot and structure of a story. Enable the learners to interpret words to infer emotions. Identify examples of phrasal verbs. Analyze emotions expressed by the characters of a story. Last but not least, enable the learners to read a story and answer questions based on it. Thinking of our grouping, we thought that we will divide the students as homogeneous group in which the station 1 includes visually talented students, station 2 includes creatively talented students, group 3 includes exceptional students, likewise our group 4 includes auditory talented students. As I already mentioned, we have a group planning and in which it included almost 32 students and these are the students list. Moving on to the methodology, we took the combination of both, that is flipped learning, likewise station rotation too. As before class activity, we gave audio, visual and audio visual presentations. There are three links in which children can choose the links according to their wish and they can learn according to their own talents. Moving on to the first link. Learns a lesson and becomes a good elephant. Children, elephant lives in groups in the jungle. From this video, those who are keen in auditory and visualization will get a clear idea based on the story. Moving on to the second link. Bukka was naughtiest elephant in the herd. This video doesn't include any animation, but it includes the wordings, each wordings of our chapter so that our kids get a clear idea based on the chapter. And the last link is based on audio visual presentation. In a forest, there lived a herd of elephants. The older elephants in the herd looked after the junior this video includes audio visual presentation which means that all the children will get a clear idea based on the chapter as i already mentioned our objectives are interconnected and we aim that all our kids will get a clear knowledge about the chapter moving on to our activity description it is story narration as I already mentioned, our students are divided based on their talents and based on their talents, we gave them some work. The first activity which we gave to station 1 is flashcard. For station 2, it's puppet show. For station 3, it is dress up like character. And for station 4, it is role play. The activity in details. In station 1, it is flashcard narration. The learners will narrate the story in own words using the flashcards they prepared during before class activity. In station 2, it is puppet show. The learners will enact a puppet show based on the main characters in the story using the puppets they prepared during before class activity. In station 3, it is dress up like character in that learners will dress up like all the main characters in the story and will narrate the story in on words. Moving on to station 4, it is role play. The learners will enact the story in on words in the form of a role play. The materials or digital tools that we used are in station 1, it is flashcards, quizzes app, 
and exit slips. In Station 2, it's Puppets, Word Wall, and Answer Garden. In Station 3, it is costumes similar to characters, Puzzle.org, Jamboard. In Station 4, it is Anchor Podcast, Padlet, and One Minute People. Moving on to the assessment tool or after class activity, we give same questions for different stations but in, by using different assessment tools. That is in group one, we give quizzes. In group two, we give word one. In group three, we give puzzles.org. And in group four, we use Padlet. Moving on to the questions in quizzes app, we are gonna start our game Going on to our first question, and the students will bring the news of forest fire. We can adjust the music here. Moving on to our second question, the past tense of forget is for good. Moving on to third question, plural form of branch is branches. Likewise, we can play the session. Moving on to the questions and word wall. In word wall, first of all, we want to enter our name and then we can start. And it is like a game show. I'm gonna start it. Squirrels will bring the news of forest fire. It will give us the complete details about our marks. If you want to skip it, we can skip it and move on to our next question. Past tense of forget is forgot. Again, I got a correct answer. Then I will get bonus mark. Likewise, we can play this. Moving on to the questions and puzzles. Telling about puzzles.org. I already mentioned that group 3 includes exceptional students which means that they are highly talented they don't need any mcq type questions so i gave them puzzles and if they write the correct answer then it will become green for example the second question is it true that the young elephants listen to their elders i think it's true so i'm writing as true so it become green and it got crossed here likewise we can complete this Moving on to the questions in Padlet. This is a Padlet which has been made by ourselves in which it's an auditory quiz in which the questions are asked by the teacher and the students should listen to the questions and write by themselves. And it's given for station four as they are auditorily keen students. Moving on to the audio of Dash. Our first question is Squirrels will bring the news of dash moving on to our second question likewise 10 questions are given here if they forget to listen anything they can see the questions here for the reflection of formative assessment as we all know formative assessment will be done using exit slip in group one answer garden in group two jamboard in group three and one minute paper in group four and from that we will get a correct feedback let's move on to the exit slip an exit card is given to the students with a question what is the moral of the story booker learns a lesson they can type the answers here that is be polite they can write any answers here now it's the time for answer garden and we can write any answer here. Respect elders. And we can submit it. So we can we will be able to see the answer here. Now it's a time for Jamboard. In case of Jamboard, the question is given and it is said that answer as sticky notes here. So they should collect sticky notes from here and type the answer here. Respect elders and they can click save 
and it will be saved. Last but not least, it is one minute paper. One minute paper, it's just a Google form in which some animations are done and they can answer here. Answer is be polite. Or respect elders. And then they can submit their answer. As I already mentioned, same questions are repeated for all the stations but using different applications. Thinking of our learning type, first of all, the method used is acquisition. That is, they acquired knowledge from the video that they saw. Then they inquired more about the video that includes inquiry. Later, they had a discussion within themselves. Then they had a collaborative learning. Then they did their practice. And then they produced it before us. So I think that all the six learning types are used in our classes. Moving on to synchronous or asynchronous, we used both. So we can call it as bichronous. As synchronous mode, we used a before class activity that is audio visual presentation. Then synchronous during class activity, that is by using flashcard narration, puppet show, dress up like character, and role play. Again, synchronous and assessment or after class learning activity, that is quizzes, word wall, podcast, and puzzles. Again, we used asynchronous for formative assessment or reflection by using exit slip, answer garden, jam port, and one minute paper. Moving on to the post class activity. The question is given to them and they are asked to come up with an interesting plan and share it with everyone using station's podcast. That is, they should make their own podcast as audio visual or audio visual presentations. The question is based on the story itself. Moving on to the learning time. Before class activity, it took 15 minutes. During class activity preparation, one hour. During class activity, 10 minutes each. After class activity, 15 minutes. Formative assessment or reflection and post class activity, 15 minutes. By this, we came to the end of our session and thank you for your attention, my dear. And this group, we consist of Sister Navya, Shijusa, Shidalmas, Ashamas, and myself, Anne Matthews, signing off. Thank you.